What's up, RJJ Online? We are digging into some single leg X, X guard. Something interesting about these two guards, I, they're, they're actually one guard. It's very difficult to have a well-rounded X guard without a single leg X and vice versa. You have to have a good X guard, a single leg X for your X guard. So let's take a look at some principles, some details that you may find helpful along your development for this type of guard play. Um, let's take a look at a situation where we can enter into the single leg, single leg X. Um, I cannot have you standing here. You know, what we've been talking about in class is working with a situation where you have a guard player, a guard passer, no one has a connection yet. This is one of the most important battles because the person who gets the grips first is usually gonna have um, control of the match at that moment. So it's important that we get the grips first, we get our connection. So one of the connections we are seeking from this situation would be a shin to shin. From a shin to shin, hugging the leg, now I can start to fight off my back and build my guard. So this is one way with that shin to shin, we can start entering into the single leg X. Couple details for our single leg X. Our foot on our training partner's hip is very important. Why? Because this foot keeps my hips off the ground. And if my hips are off the ground, I have control over his leg. And this is a battle that you're gonna you know, have to deal with. Guard passers are gonna typically try to remove this foot off their hip. And when they do, your hips fall to the ground. So your single leg X starts to disappear. And that's where your X guard comes in handy because now your foot has another place to attach. Let's take a look at that one more time. Let's start from no connection. If I can get a shin to shin, control over the leg, now I can start looking to enter into my single leg X. I want to get all the weight on that far foot. I do so by rolling my head towards it. We have a frame to maintain the space. We draw that leg deep into our armpit, and now we shoot our knees through the gap, and we got our single leg X. Again, foot on the hip keeps your hips off the ground. If that foot on the hip becomes compromised, your hips will fall to the ground. That's fine if we adjust to our X guard. A couple details of the X guard. Let's look at these points of contact. The foot on the hip, the purpose it serves is gonna to be to block any advancements to this direction. So if Mike starts walking in here, my foot in front of his hip is just blocking him from fully getting past my legs. Now my other leg is blocking as well because if I don't block and he just back steps here, he kind of navigates around my, my guard. So one foot is controlling movement to my right, the other leg is gonna control movement to my left, and now we can use this to off balance and attack our opponent. So, that's one example where a single leg X will turn into an X guard, and again, as you're developing the single leg X, you have to also put some focus on the X guard. I hope that is helpful, and we'll see you in class.